Good morning, y'all. I finally did it. Got up out of bed at 5.30, came down to the gym. <sighs> I don't know why it's so hard for me to start back working out. Like, sometimes I'm really good and I go strong for like months at a time, and then I just fall back off. Like, I like to call myself an inconsistent worker outer. <laughs> but it's 6.30, I was on the treadmill for like 30 minutes, getting it in. So I need to be back upstairs by like 6.45ish so I can get ready for class. Yay! Happy Vlogmas Day 19. Annoying. She just want to be on camera, y'all. <laughs> See? <laughs> Censored. <laughs> y'all, we are on the aircraft. About to take off. The planes, the galley over there. That I'm, our class is on the board. Those are the fancy first class seats over there. Everybody's writing down their promises of what they commit to. <laughs> Time to get back to learning. We get to drink wine today. <laughs> You're gonna do some wine tasting yeah, later. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a flight attendant's must haves, and I'm going to tell y'all what my must have is, and then I'm gonna ask everybody else that I'm in training with so y'all will have a good idea, broad idea of things that you'll need when you get the job or if you already have the job and just good ideas. Okay, no. I think two things. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. If you're, um, I say always bring a bathing suit because, especially if you're on reserve, because you can get sent anywhere and you don't want to be sent to Puerto Rico and have nothing to hang out on the beach or the pool. That's like, the what? And, <laughs> and it'll it'll actually be a nice vacation if you actually bring that kind of stuff. And I know people actually who were when they were on reserve, they would fly somewhere and they get stuck there, or like they'd be sent to out of Boston. We used to I don't know if we still have it. The well, no, not now because of the hurricane. But twenty four hey, hour layovers in St. Martin. We had to mix all the drinks. <laughs> there was a mix up twenty four hours in St. Martin. Oh yeah. We're blind. You don't want to be. You don't want to be. You don't want to be without caught out there without a, a a bathing suit for sure. Then the other thing, just no matter where you go, whatever you can find that's super moisturizing, coconut oil, uh, cocoa butter, whatever, because your skin will get dry. Dry. Super dry. Super dry. Well, thank you. One, um, if you're a first-time flight attendant, you tend to get. <laughs> you tend to get sick real easily, yeah. so emergency oh, is yeah. perfect. That's just like a good, a good safety one. line. The planes, you know, you're constantly with, surrounded by a lot of people. Your, your immune system gets very strong mm -hmm. as a flight attendant. But in the beginning, you get colds all the time. So emergency and a portable speaker for like the morning to like listen to music to turn a good mood. Yeah, yeah. like but a good one morning, though, not like yeah. the little cheap. Or by things. the pool. Like you need you need like a good baseline. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I agree with the emergency. You should all you should also have Ducolax because you get stopped up very easily from flying and you need to release that tension. So you should always have something that to release. I mean all those gases always, get trapped in the body. Always, it's the OG advice. Yeah. It's true. Always have it's true. OG advice. extra it's underwear true. and socks, t-shirts. Basically like life. I'm about to and go buy some suit. Extra yeah. underwear, socks, t-shirts, and duplex. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> These are specifically well no, men like this too. So Two things. No, make sure you know, <laughs> yeah. Pleasure. Make sure you have because you're gonna be away from home for a, a while. A dildo, vibrating dildo <laughs> with backup batteries and some lube because you might be using it a lot. So I Men prefer like too, organic or waterless lube, it's safer. <laughs> but for all you folks who like a little pleasure and that can't get it real quick. That's the best thing for you. I'm keeping it Tender. Right. <laughs> for anyone that organizes, he knows. Like, so, like, shoe bags, packing shoes. Like, without that, I would probably have a freak out every time I pack. Like, I have to have that. Oh, you like the packing? Yeah, go on Amazon. Yeah, like, the packing. Or the new portable heater yeah, thing that you buy on Amazon. What, what, what are they called? Hot, 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 hot Topic. That's a store. It's like Hot Logic or what? Oh, Hot Logic. Yeah. Go 
Those are the key. We're not going to need those. We're going to have What's your must have, Jordan? Is yours uh, hot logic? Yeah. Yours or your clothes? Yeah. Samples from Sephora. Samples from Sephora? Samples. Sample clones. Because, like, fuck it. Like, our perfumes, like, you're going to wear free. It's a life hack. You're welcome. A good, strong set of condoms. <laughs> Trojan, preferably. Oh my God. Extra large. A charger? Oh, a phone? Stop playing my, play my ring, because if I walk around like I'm single, I'm in trouble. Definitely a lunchbox. Save you a lot of money when you pack. Plan yourself ahead and take your snacks and food. That will save you money. And a portable charger, so whenever you, you ran out of your battery and you're during the flight, so you can just charge your phone or your electronics and your pads or whatever you have. That's good. Ready? Instant espresso. That's my must have for every trip. Instant espresso. So I can have my cup. Wait, can you make, you have to make that like on the plane? Or? You can warm up milk on the plane, put milk in a water bottle, and then heat it up in a carafe of hot water. And oh, and you just put the espresso in there? And then I put the water in a cup, I mean the milk in a cup, and put the espresso and brown sugar and coffee con leche. It's delicious. Oh, alright. Yes. Um, things that I have to pack with me when I'm on a layover is a big drawer of peanut butter. Peanut butter? Mm -hmm. So I need my protein. Okay. Um, even if I do a turn, I always take a swimsuit with me in case the aircraft breaks down in Punta Cana. I guess, yeah. <laughs> and, um, let's see. It's all on me tonight, guys. Don't worry about it. I need sleepy time team. Sleepy time tea. That's a good idea. And um, I have a lavender pillow spray. Okay. That to personally like, get a little homey feel. <laughs> yeah. To make my hotel room feel like home. Thank you, Vanessa. Candles. What is up with you in these candles? I like candles in my room. I like my candle and I like my Bluetooth speaker and my liquor. Yeah, I'm trying to set the mood. I am trying to set the mood for me in my suitcase, rollerboard, whatever you want to call it. Have to have my jeans. You never ever know when you need to go somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. So my must-have, y'all, is definitely my laptop. One because I never turn on a TV in a hotel. I just watch from my laptop. My Xfinity app on my laptop. Comcast, Xfinity, one in the same. <laughs> <laughs> and um and two i need the laptop so i can edit my vlogs and do vlogmas for y'all every day so there you go okay guys so i have a visitor this is a subscriber and she just got a cjo with my airline say hi to dosa so she just came to visit since i'm in orlando and she lives here too and she just wanted to chit chat I came to get the ins and outs of training. <laughs> the ins and outs. And she came on a good day because I'm still sitting here with everybody. So she can kind of chit chat with them when they're not distracted. But I'm going to close out the vlog soon. I still have to go upstairs and open the advent calendar for today. So I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all. Well, I'm back to my room. And I wanted to open up the advent calendar. So... We are on day number seven, and it says photo ready. So what do y'all think that is? Maybe like some blush, or maybe it's a powder. I don't know what to think that is. That could be anything to get photo ready. So let's see. Okay, it's a NYX, bright. It's a NYX. Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. It says, creamy highlighter goes on smooth for instant shimmer and a hint of color. So, that's what that looks like. Might have to give this a little try tomorrow, you know, like a nice little, little highlight, little pop pop, every now and then. So, that's cool. Do I really? Oh, so today is the 19th, 20th. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Did I start this on the right day? I don't know, but y'all get the whole point. <laughs>
Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know some of my um, classmates are a little wild and crazy with their must-have responses and, and answers, but you know what? That's honestly what it's like working on the line and just having a ton of diverse people that you work with on a daily basis. People are into different things. Their attitudes are different. Their personalities are different. Some are wild and crazy. Some are calm, cool, and collected. So it's a fun, fun lifestyle, y'all. I absolutely love it. I enjoy it. I love meeting the new people. Um, and I'm having a really great time with this class. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. Like, I'm really, really happy. Um, but let me give y'all a little update on what we did in training today. We finished the portion of Promises training, basically our hospitality training. We finished that off. Today's portion was called Broken Promises. So basically, how do you overcome situations where customers are upset, where we've made a promise to the customer and that just didn't happen and how do we handle those situations? So we learned that today. And now we finally went into um, the actual first class training, serving and things like that. So today we learned um, how the galleys were set up, how to make the espressos, the cappuccinos, how we serve with the trays, how we make drinks. We did wine tasting. So it's really super exciting. Y'all know I really went into the first class training for the benefits on my end, you know, getting paid more, getting paid more hours for the trips that I'm working, um, having a schedule and so on and so forth. But I really, really do think I'm going to enjoy the service aspect of it so much more. I really do like being on point and giving great customer service. And this training that we're going through is so amazing. Like, it's really phenomenal. If you've ever worked in the restaurant industry or, you know, fine dining of any sort, like it's really on that level, just on an airplane. So it just makes me happy, like being able to just even go up to that top notch. It's called the onboard lead position here at my airline. So yes, you're doing all that fine dining service as well, but you're also, you know, holding the rest of your crew accountable for their actions and their mannerisms and how they're treating the rest of your aircraft. So I like that tad bit of responsibility, you know, that leadership. I like it a lot because every other job that I've had, either, you know, I'm my own boss, like in real estate, so I have to keep myself up to par, or when I was in retail management, I was a manager, you know, and I was making sure that all my employees was up to par. I really like bringing that leadership quality into in-flight, into the flight attendant world. It makes me feel kind of special. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I need to go ahead and edit this vlog, try to get it up tonight, and go to bed because we have another long day tomorrow, and we actually have, like, some type of Christmas party that, um, the Orlando base is throwing for, um, I don't know who all is gonna be there, but I'm gonna attend that tomorrow since I'm here. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed tonight's vlog. If the other crew members must have made you giggle, if you enjoyed any of those comments, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Some of them were a little wild and crazy, and boy, oh boy, they had me laughing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 19. Tomorrow is December 20th. We are just that much closer to Christmas, and I love Christmas, and that means we're just that much closer to Vlogmas being over. So make sure y'all catch up on all the vlogs. I will see y'all tomorrow. Good night.